Okay, guys, we're almost done. Well, with the ball, anyway. But, that's an important step. So, what I'm just going to do now, is I'm going to finish off the game loop. So, right now we got update and only update. Um, so now, what is next for our game loop? Well, the only two things the game loop does is update and paint, that's it. So, all we have to do now is just paint. But, we can't call the paint component method directly. Instead, what we do is there's a method in JPanel called repaint. And it doesn't take any arguments or anything. And that just tells the operating system, whenever you get around to it, call paint component again. So we have a fully functioning game loop now. So the game runs, timer is set, first timer goes off, update, ball gets updated, paint, ball gets painted. Timer goes off again, update, ball gets updated, moves another 10 pixels, repaint, gets painted on the screen in its new position, and it just keeps doing that over and over and over. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I am going to do though, is I think we can show you guys, no I don't want to buy your damn software. Oh, it's compiling. Okay. So I'm just going to compile that and compile this. And you guys are going to see something kind of weird. Oh, there it goes. Look at that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen, is it? Well, actually, it is. I, I just wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like. What's happening here is the ball is getting repainted um, a whole bunch of times, but it's still showing the old ball positions because, you know, we start at 250, it draws it there, it moves, it draws it again, but it doesn't erase the first one. It keeps it there. We're just drawing on top of it. And we don't want that. We don't want this giant shit stain on our game. It looks stupid. So, what we can do is we can do that by kind of wiping the screen. And that's as easy as when we go to draw, just draw a white rectangle before everything else. And that kind of wipes the whole screen Gives it a fresh white background, and then you can draw on top of the white background. So, let's see. Where's the game panel? And I can also show you guys colors, too. So, we're in paint component now. Let's see. Now, before our ball paints itself, we're just going to say G. And the graphics object has a method for setting the color. And color has static variables for easy, easy access, so we don't have to worry about RGB colors or anything like that. We do have to import color though, which is a pain in the ass. This import list is just getting ridiculous. It's important for you guys to see all these different imports, so. though. Because I could easily just say javax.swing.everything, but I think it's important for you guys to see where this stuff is coming from and what's part of the library in Java and what stuff we're actually making. So there's color. So the loop goes every 50 milliseconds. Update, ball moves, paint, ball gets painted, but before the ball gets painted, we wipe the screen. So let's compile that. 
And I noticed it was moving kind of fast before, so I'm going to change the, uh, the speed a little bit. Ten's a little too quick. Uh, let's see. Set the speed in the Y direction to zero. We'll have it just move left and right. And we'll set this to one. Okay. All right, see how this looks. Oh, yeah, duh. I'm freaking stupid. I set the color, but all that did was change the ball's color. I didn't actually draw the rectangle. Jesus. So... Yes, we want an actual freaking rectangle this time. I'm not making this up, I swear to God. So we'll just say top left corner of the rectangle is in the top left corner of the window, zero, zero. And it's 500 across to cover the whole window, and 500 down to cover the whole window. Now we're probably going to want to change our balls color too. And we can just do that right in here. Since this paint uses the same graphic object, so what color do we want our ball to be? Um we could do blue balls. Yeah, no, actually it's kind of a bad idea. No one likes blue balls. So we'll just do color dot show green why the hell not and of course we have to import this uh, java dot ewt dot color okay compile Okay, compile, oh, oh, look at that, we have the next triple A title on our hands, Halo 5, here we come, oh, jeez, look at that speed, oh, damn, can barely keep up with my eyes. Of course, he's just going to keep going and going and going and going. Doesn't matter if his X position is below zero. It's just going to keep going. But it doesn't draw it automatically. It, it, it would be off screen completely. It won't bother drawing it. So we don't have to worry about that. There's not going to be any super CPU drain because our little ball decided to go off the screen. So I won't worry about that. But yeah, let's, let's watch it again. This is a good first step, guys. This is the foundation for all games. And the thing is, we got all the hard stuff out of the way. Like setting up the game loop and the classes and stuff. That's that's the hard stuff. That's, that's like legwork. And eventually, if you decide to move on to Eclipse or net beans or whatever, they'll take care of a lot of that stuff for you. So, but now that we've done that, it's pretty much basically the same thing for the computer, except we have a little bit of AI going on that we have to put in, and the player is going to take some input from the keyboard, and we'll have to discuss that a little bit. But, um, we got a ball, and that's pretty good for right now. I'd say it's a good place uh, to stop this part, anyway. Uh, in the next part, uh, we'll have the ball bouncing around the screen. So it doesn't go off the screen, it starts bouncing around like normal Pong. Um, but yeah, we'll do that next.